Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to show you guys how I made this set and how I laid down my crystals, my Swarovski crystals. So just keep watching. I'm going to start with the base and I'm using Marshmallow by the Gel Bottle. And I sped through it, but I did three layers. That's what it looks like after three layers. Now we're gonna put the crystals. So I'm using um, Diamond Gel by Valentino. This little LED lamp by Kiara Sky. This is what I used to place the gel on the nail. Um, I don't remember where I got it. I'm pretty sure it was probably Amazon. And I used this little crystal tray to put my crystals on. So the ones I don't use, it's easy to just dump back into my container. This is my AB crystal collection at the moment. Very um, not full right now. I need to get some more. And this is my where I keep all my like gold accent charms. They're my favorite, and I add them to every crystal set. Um, I just feel like it makes it look so much better. And then here is my little wax pen that I use to pick up the crystals. I got that from Amazon. So this set was a freestyle. So right now I'm just going through and picking up stones that I can use. And I kind of just like come up with a design. <laughs> and I also grabbed some of the gold accent charms as well. They're the same ones I use all the time. All right, for the thumb, I did a very simple design. I just put a little crystal at the bottom of the nail. When I'm laying down the gel, I put just enough to cover the, the gold accent charm and the crystal. So there's not like any spilling out the edge and it looks all like kind of sloppy, you know? Once I put the crystal inside the charm, I kind of like mess with it and make sure it's super even and in the middle. And once I'm happy with it, I go ahead and flash cure it. I choose to flash cure it so it doesn't move while I'm moving on to the next nail. So for the second finger, the index nail, again, I'm putting just enough glue for the crystal to sit on top of. You don't want to do too little because then it's just not enough glue for the crystal to adhere to and you don't want to do too much or it's just going to be spilling out the edges so i basically just trace out the crystal i'm going to be placing on top which is this one see how i covered it and you can't see any of the glue and i'm just gonna play with it and make sure it's in the middle and when i'm happy with it i'll add more crystals to it. some more glue to put the next little gold accent charm I don't really like I said it was a freestyle and these are kind of like my go-to designs they look super simple they are super simple and these gold charms if anyone wants to know I used to sell them in my nail supply shop um, I will be selling them on my website I want to say in April 
mid-April maybe. But they're just doing the same little gold accent and then putting the crystal in, putting it right next to the bigger charm I just um, laid down. I haven't cured anything yet so it's still, I still can like move it around and make sure they're even. Again, you see how I'm making like a circle so that the gold accent and the crystal fit right on top of it without too much spilling out. When I flash cure it, I usually do it for like 10 seconds. Um, I thought that looked a little too simple, so I ended up adding a little bit more glue and adding a couple more charms. So I added a tiny little crystal AB, and then I'm gonna add a gold little charm, a little caviar bead, that's what they're called. And even though they're really small and simple, I feel like it just made this design look so much better. And that's the finish now you'll see everything at the end but that's how it came out for this second now it's a design I do quite a lot it's a very big pear shaped Swarovski so I do use a lot more of the gel as you can see because it needs a lot more Now usually I always put like the gold accent charms down first, but for this one I do put the big crystal down first. And when I flash cure the bigger crystals like that, I usually do the full minute because it takes a little longer for it to stay in place. And now I'm just adding more of the gem glue 
the diamond gel I should say so that I can put a little gold accent right under it and then I make sure that's centered and then I go ahead and cure that as well look at the crystal it's so beautiful like you can definitely tell the difference between rhinestones from like amazon and actual uh Sorvoski. it's so pretty from here i probably won't say much because i think the rest is just uh self-explanatory i just put enough uh, glue to fit charms on nothing more nothing less and I flash cure each one and yeah if you guys have any more questions go ahead and leave them in the comments and I'll try to get back to you
Here's all the notes. Now I'm going to put some top coat on there. And that is the finished set. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Hope it helped you guys out when it comes to crystals. And I will see you guys next time. Are you coming now? Cause I know soon I'll be coming down. I'll be coming down. I'll be coming down.